Hey, what's up you guys? It's Dorothy and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to go into chapter 65 of The Murder House by James Patterson and David Ellis. So let's get right into this video. This video may contain sensitive topics and foul language. If you do not wish to continue, I suggest you click off the video now. You have been warned. Chapter 65. I kill the headlights so Aiden won't see my car approaching his house, but he might hear it bouncing over the bumpy, unforgiving roads just north of main street his house is obscured by trees until i reach his driveway i pass it and pull the car over on the sloping shoulder of the road only a quarter mile away last summer the prostitute bonnie stamos was found impaled on that tree stump the house is dark as i walk up the driveway it's a dilapidated shingled ranch that almost stag sags as its sides a better chevy parked a beater Chevy parked in the driveway. I step onto the cracked concrete porch and can't find a doorbell. I open the screen door, which is on the verge of falling off, and bang my fist on the door. Open up, Aiden. Town police. Nothing at first. I bang again. Announce my office. Once more. Nothing. He couldn't have be beaten me here by much. Fifteen minutes tops. No way he's asleep. It was Aiden I saw, wasn't it? Open up, Aiden. I pound on the door until my fist hurts. I check my watch. Half past midnight. Either he's not home or he's ignoring me. Either way, I'm out of luck. It's not like I can kick the door in. I don't give, I don't have probable cause or anything close to it, but nothing says I can't check the back of the house, no outdoor lighting on the house, the property surrounded by trees that block the neighboring light, so I use my mag light to move around and narrow the side of the house. The backyard is equally dark and tree-lined, a bicycle lies in the grass, no back porch or patio something moving a squirrel or some small animal sprinting through the my beam of light i take a breath shine the light at the house a window well in the into the basement i shine my light inside just enough room for me to fit in there the window's been unlatched pulled inward i squat down the window's filthy i wipe the muck with the sleeve of my sweater but the light combines with the smears to block any view like high beams and fog i push on the window to open it farther as far as it'll go to a 60 degree angle inward a noise in the woods behind me something moving across fallen branches and dead leaves i shine my light over the woods dry grass moving gently with the breeze long naked trees like skeletons waving at me an animal probably the open window gives me maybe an inch or two of space i shine my light directly into the basement and peek inside looking right at me is a woman sitting in a chair that is the end of this chapter i will see you guys in the next video bye